Hello, it's a rainy day here. And so I'm having fun with makeup because what else do you do on a rainy day? And I thought I'd jump on since I did my one eye and do my other eye with you guys all live. It's been a couple days since I've done a live. It's been a little crazy around here, so I apologize for that. But I am back to showing you more uses for the palettes. So I'm using palette four this time, and I'm gonna use four of the colors and show you how to get this really cool gradient. I'm calling it rainy day inspired because it's a little bit more cloudy. Um, it's all cloudy here today in London, but um, has a little bit more light to clouds is the way that I'm kind of going with it. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to figure out. All right, we'll figure that out in a second with the live stuff. So. Let's get started. I am actually gonna start with my transition color. Let me find the brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this liner shader brush and I am gonna use this color Honest right here. It's um, like a gray blue is the best way that I have to describe it. So I'm gonna grab that color and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna bring this in my corner and then up. And I'm pressing really lightly and then you can press more as you realize if you need more color just like that and then I'm going to come in and I am going to sorry if something my my eye was my hair was my eye. I'm going to come in and blend it so you can see that's really really light I actually want to add more color why not right it's a rainy day let's add more color to it so I know you probably are all like isn't every day rainy in London it was actually beautiful yesterday until the evening and then it rained but we get used to it and we have fun with makeup when it's raining. There you go. Okay, my next color is going to be this color secretive right here. Yes, there's like a chunk of it out of it. The only explanation I have for that is my daughter. I have not introduced myself yet. So my name is Maya Laurent and I'm with Be Wildly Beautiful and super passionate about helping women feel more confident in their skin and to live wildly beautiful. And some fun ways you can do this, having fun with makeup. So I'm gonna take that secretive color and this is gonna be kind of like the middle of the eye and I'm gonna take it into that other color I did just a second ago. Just like that. I put it on really lightly. Now I'm gonna go dark and I'm gonna use my contour brush to put in this darkness here in the corner right here. So the color Cheerful is definitely blue, but as you can see, it kind of goes on more gray. It's like a blue gray. And I'm gonna start light, but I do want this to be dark. So I'm gonna make a very small V in the corner. You can see how I did that over here. I'm gonna go just like this. You guys see that? Oh, I got some, I'll clean that up later. And then do another one like that. And I'm gonna wipe my brush off on just a tissue and I'm actually gonna use my contour brush. Let's fix that, that looks funny. There we go. I'm gonna use my contour brush as my brush that I'm gonna blend with a little bit here. And I'm just trying to keep that color in the corner. This is why normally I do my, this little drop off right here is normally why I do my makeup or eye makeup first and then the rest of my makeup later. But that's not how I did things today. So bringing that color in like that and then I'm gonna take like a nice fluffy brush and come in and just really keep it concentrated to the corner because I really want to draw some attention right there but I still want to blend it and end in. <laughs> All right, just like so. Okay, I'll take this and clean up a big brush like this. Good powder puff brush is a good thing to use for cleaning if you get any drop off. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this brush and just blend it in a little bit to the other color we were using. But again, I still wanna have that nice color right there in the corner and then bring that one back in and blend, blend, blend is the name of the game, I guess. All right, then I want to have a little bit more color, not color, but like light in the corner. So I'm gonna use my trusty rose water and I'm gonna use it with the sponge brush. And I'm just gonna spray it. And then, now I have rose water everywhere, I'm gonna use the color Tinder. So I'm coming in and I'm really gonna get lots of that color onto the sponge brush, like so, and then bring it in in the corner and just, I'm like inhaling that out. <laughs> just, I love rose water, I use it for everything. Um, so I'm using this just in the corner and then I'm gonna take it and take it along my lash line a little bit. You can see how I did that over there. So this is gonna just open up your eye in the corner a little bit for a little bit of this smoky eye. And then I want to use some eyeliner. 
So I'm gonna use the color Perfect, which is the black color. Let me move everything out of the way so I can show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go just really close to the top of my lashes. And all you have to do is do small strokes. Don't be worried about doing one straight line. If you just do small strokes, it will help you so much to not worry about having a super straight line. I'm gonna take it, I normally don't do all the way into the corner, but I'm going for more drama today because it's a rainy day and you need a little bit more drama on a rainy day. So I'm going into the corner more than maybe I normally would on any other day. And then you'll see over here, I tight lined my eye or I did my waterline. So all you have to do, your waterline is just above your lashes on your bottom um, bottom lashes, bottom line, whichever way you want to say it. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to just put some just along this area right here. This is hard to do in the phone. Let me see if I can get it right there. It's good to have your pencil really nice and sharp for this, but don't poke your eye out. Okay, if you make a mess up, it's all right. This stuff is gonna stay put, but it will let you move it around for the first minute or so, and then it's gonna stay. All right, see how that looks? It gives you that darkness underneath your eye right there. How am I gonna finish this? I'm gonna finish this, of course, with some mascara, and I'm noticing, let me check my mirror. It's so funny how this is a little bit um, different. The camera is a little bit different than what I get right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this color and blend it. Let me try and turn down my light just a smidge. Oh, that might help a little bit. And then come back in and blend. I have a serious nose itch right now. <laughs> Sorry about that, okay. So if you're jumping on now, I am doing a bit of a rainy day eye. And the best way to finish off a rainy day eye is with mascara, of course. So I'm going to add in the mascara. I already have some of the other eyes, so I'm just going to put it on this one. And I'm doing my gel, fibers gel is the name of the game. I hope you guys are doing wonderfully today. Maybe it's not cloudy and rainy where you are. It just is here. But again, I think that is the norm for London, so I'm not complaining. I will be complaining when it's summer. We haven't had enough sunny days yet, I'm sure. You'll notice I'm paying a little bit more attention to this outer part because I really want to make those lashes just kind of have that fly away look. Do you see that? Just like so. So then I'm going to add in the fibers. You can do it really light-handedly. You don't have to put a ton on. Actually, a ton stick on once you've done the gel. And then... Normally I would go over and do my other eye right now, but since I'm out here and I've already done that eye, I'm going to go back and do the gel on this. Don't forget the other gel. It's what seals those fibers and are going to keep those lashes looking long all day long. I said long all day long. So this is palette four and I'll show it to you again here in a minute. It's got some really pretty brown undertones and then blue. But it's not scary blue. If you're scared of blue, no reason to be. Do you see these funny faces I make? Does anyone else make these funny faces with their mouth when you're putting on mascara? Should do a whole series on funny. I feel like I do that a lot. Okay, put a little bit of gel just on the bottom lashes. And there you go. See? Super fun, simple, rainy day look. Okay, here's palette four again. Let me show it to you. So, these are the pretty colors. This is really dirty because my daughter's been playing with it. But it starts off in this really light and then goes into some deeper browns. And then has a really pretty brownish gold color. And then a silvery blue. And then a blue. And this is almost, this last color is called Triumphant. It is like, I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's blue, but it's definitely got like a black grayish undertone as well. So this is really pretty. You could do these looks for every day. Or this one and that one for every day. It's a really fun look. So. There's palette four. There is your rainy day eye. I'll be sure to post some details on it. That was just a quick eye for you today. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you're not sure um, what kind of palette you think would be good for you with your eye color or skin tone or anything like that. I'd love to help you out. Hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and go live into your wild beauty today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.